case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for a thrilling case from 2007 brian v deathlefts put the florida district court of appeal to the test centered around the intricacies of revocable living trusts the case spotlighted how assets should be distributed when the death of a beneficiary complicates matters charles l brian had established a trust stating that upon his death, his grandson, Robert R. Bizzle, would inherit the trust's assets. However, Brian included a caveat. The assets would only be awarded to Bizzle if he were alive during the distribution. But fate intervened. Bizzle passed away during the distribution process. This premature passing triggered a legal debate. Who was now entitled to the trust assets? The case saw potential beneficiaries, who were relatives of Brian, go head-to-head -head with Bizzle's half-sister, Deathlifts. However, Deathlifts, standing as a beneficiary of Bizzle's estate, claimed the assets. The lower court's decision fell in Deathlefts' favor, asserting that the assets vested with Bizzle at Brian's death. Therefore, with Bizzle's subsequent passing, his estate became the rightful inheritor of the trust assets. Unsatisfied, the potential beneficiaries appealed, bringing the case before the Florida District Court of Appeal. The court affirmed the previous judgment. The underlying principle was that since Bizzle was alive at Brian's death, the rights to the trust assets legally cemented with him, irrespective of his untimely death during the distribution. Despite the death-fraught twists and turns of this case, it served as an important precedent for trust law, shinning a light on the intricacies of asset distribution upon the death of a beneficiary. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Stress of class.